Hi, this is Sweet June. I'm coming back at you. Did a little video earlier. Um, the sun is going in. It's coming back out. Hopefully, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm, I'm do. I'm gonna do this video. I'm gonna do another one. So I'm hoping and praying that the sun stays out for me. Boy, Michigan, something else with the weather. But you know, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna be appreciative because California is going through earthquakes right now. And Louisiana, they having some flooding issues, hurricane -ish type situation. So, I'm gonna count my blessings. I'm not gonna complain. It's beautiful though. It's beautiful. Anyway, I want to. I know you guys. I don't know. Like, I, um, if you guys caught my prayer video that I did to Strong Mommy, Strong Mommy Christy, check that out. Um, I know a lot of people are doing reaction videos to her situation. I'm not going to really go into all that because I'm, I'm not about that on here. Um, but I will say this. I am going to talk about, um, not just talking about her, but I'm talking about a lot of women that's going through this. Probably a lot of women go through that same situation. I've been through it. Uh, a man wanting to leave or whatever. I know I've been through it. Um, you know, a lot of women can, can relate to her situation um, because... It's a lot of women that have to go through that. Um, a lot of women are going through it. A lot of women on a daily basis go through the same thing. So she's not the only one. Um, so I'm not just, I talk about this, I'm not just talking about her situation, but I'm talking about all women across the board that have to go through the same thing. And it's like this. If a man want to leave, or not, not just a man, but anybody, but particularly if a man, if you're a woman and a man want to leave, let him leave. Let him go. Don't try to hold on. That's what I want to talk about. Don't try to hold on to somebody that don't want to be held on to. If he don't want you. Now, in my situation, um, you know, I, I fell in love with the wrong guy. Um, and, you know. He told me, he finally, after it was all said and done, when my heart was, I told that little bit of that story, a little bit of that story in my other video about this guy in this little country town that I fell head over heels in love with when I was in my 20s. And, you know, I found out once, once I was already emotionally invested and all in love with him and stuff, that's when I found out about various different women that, oh, he was about to get a crap in my leg. That's when I found out about the different various women that he was messing around with and everything. And then he finally, when it came down to it, he finally told me um, uh, after my heart was all in there, he finally told me that he was going to go ahead and go with the other woman that he was messing with in another town. So um, then that at that point I was like in tears and I was like looking at him like why you know why you do this to me you know I was in tears you know and everything was like looking at him was like why why is you doing this to me you know why did you do this to me you know I was devastated I was devastated but you know at the end of the day it was a learning experience for me I learned a lot from it it was a learning experience and so at that point I just had to let it go I just had to let him go. You know, he didn't, he was letting me know in so many words, he didn't want to be bothered. Uh, and he going to have the nerve to tell his sister, because my friend, like I said, my friend was very in instrumental in helping me to uh, open my eyes in the situation. I got to give her credit. And, uh, and she was there, she was there for me and she was there. She kind of helped me through the situation, but this was a situation where we went over there one day and she was talking to his sister while he was talking to me. And, um, to make a long story short, she was asking, she was telling her, uh, he was telling, she was, my friend was telling his sister, if, 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 if he don't love June, he, he need to let her know instead of stringing June along so she can go ahead and heal, you know. So his sister was telling her, well, she, he tell, she tell him that she love him too much. That's what sister told my friend. So I said, my friend came back and told me that. I was like, uh-huh, okay. Well, he's, he'll never have to ever worry about me saying that ever again. He will never hear those words come out of my mouth. That, that, those words come out of my mouth ever again. And I never said it after that. So after that, after he told me he was going with the other lady, uh, I was done. I, I let him go. I, it wasn't no begging. It wasn't no uh, calling him. And now after that, I was done. 
And then he gonna have the nerve to call me back two weeks later. I told him I'm done. I'm done. After that, I was done. I threw in the towel. I was done. Done. And I moved on after that. Um, it was a situation where I encountered him a little bit, a, a, a couple years or two or three years, maybe. Well, it was a few years later, I think it was. I'm not going to go into all that. Well, at that point, I let him have it. But I'm not going to go into that, maybe another time. But anyway, I let him go. It wasn't no begging, wasn't no uh, please, you know, uh, calling him, trying to, you know, or trying to call the other woman and, you know, harass her. No, you know, I'm not even about all that messy stuff anyway, so I don't even do all that anyway, so I was done. I, I let him go. He was, in so many words, letting me know and telling me that he didn't want to be bothered. He was done, so uh, I, I let go. It was very painful for me. Going through a heartbreak is no joke. Going through a heartbreak is no joke. It is no joke. I mean, you all kind of bad thoughts go through your mind. And at that particular time, my oldest son was little. Shoot, my oldest son couldn't have been no more than about three or four years old. I mean, I don't even think he was four. I think he was like three years old because this was shortly after I broke up with my son's dad. And I think my son was about three years old. He was, he was shy. So at that particular time, I knew I had to focus on taking care of my son. You know, I had to put my energies into taking care of my son and being there for my son and, um, you know, getting myself together, you know, as far as getting my, because at the time I was unemployed and I knew I had to be, concentrate and focus on getting myself together and getting in a job and, and, and focus on taking care of my son. And these are the things that I had to focus on. So I, I knew I had to get myself together emotionally. And my friend was very instrumental too. I got to give her credit. She took me, she wound up taking me through some changes. I'll tell those, that story another time. Um, but at that particular time, she was very in instrumental in helping me. Uh, my sisters at the time, they were in Florida. So they, you know, they really couldn't be there for me physically or whatever. They were both in Florida at that particular time. Um, however, my older sister did, I got to give, give my older sister some credit. Um, she did try to warn me about that situation because it was in her spirit. So she did, I got to give it to I got to give her credit where credit is due. She did warn me about that particular situation. But at, at that time, my heart was already in there. And I wasn't trying to hear all that. To be perfectly honest, I wasn't trying to hear all that. My heart was already in there. So I did have warning. And there was actually, he was exhibiting some warnings. So um, I did have some warning signs. And my friend was trying to tell me too. She was trying to tell me too. You know? So she had been around at that time. She had been around. And she's a couple years older than me. Uh, she had been around a block a little bit more than me, you know, because she was more, you know, more experienced, you know, had a little bit of a harder life than I had. So she, she, she seen some things too. And she was, she, you know, she was trying to let me know and everything too. But at the time, like I said, I was young. I was in my twenties. My heart was already in there. So, you know, it was the type of situation to where I had to go through it. I had to go through it, not around it, up underneath it or whatever. I had to go through it and I had to learn. I had to learn, you know, it was a learning experience for me and I had to go through it so I can't, so I could learn from it. So, um, at the, at the end of the day, you know, I'm kind of glad I went through it because I know that might just sound strange, but I'm kind of glad I went through it because it was a learning experience for me. It taught me a lot of things. And so it was a very, as Dr. Phil would say, it was a very pivotal moment in my life. So I just moved on. I moved on. I learned from experience. It was a learning experience for me. And that's basically what it was. When if a man, my, my message to all single mothers and not just single mothers, but all women across the board, if that man want to walk away, let him go. Let him go. Don't be begging. Don't beg. Don't, don't, uh, oh, please don't leave me. Even if you got kids by him, you know, um, bounce. Just let him go. Let him go. If, if he if if he do not want to be in your life, let him go. Because you can't you can't if because if, if one thing about it, if a man is in your life and he don't want to be there, he done already left. Let me say that uh um in uh, that movie um it was a movie with Terrence Henson and um uh, uh Morris Chestnut in it. Uh uh what's the name of it? It's broken something. Anyway. 
uh, uh, my girl Jennifer Lewis, I, I I love her. I love her and everything she's she's in. She said, uh, you know, a man a, a man is in your house and he didn't already done left. That's the truth. That was a true statement right there. What she made, she was wrong in their case, but it, uh, it was that's a true statement. If a man is in your house, uh, sometimes emotionally they didn't already left. Sometimes emotionally they leave before they leave physically. You know, because they out there messing with another woman. They got they didn't got involved with another woman. Sometimes they emotionally get involved with another woman. I ran into married guys that was uh, in a situation like that to where they was emotionally already gone. Physically, they were still with the wife, but emotionally, they was already gone. So sometimes a man is in your house, and emotionally, he already gone. So I'm like this, and I don't want you being with me. If you, if you emotionally, emotionally, you not there, I don't want you there. If you're not up there, up in here, up here, or in here, I don't want you. I don't. I, I, bye, bye, bye. Because I'm going to be all right. You know what I mean? Um, hopefully, prayfully, I never have to experience something like that again. I hope that if one day, if I ever do get married, I'm, I'm hoping that it'll last till death do part. Uh, but if, if, if an event the man go to clowning and, and, and he and, 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 I'm, and I hope and pray to God I never have to go through at my age particularly but you never know if, and if he want to leave and he get to a place where he's emotionally not there no more bye you want to go bounce honey because I didn't honey I didn't did I didn't already I didn't did this before I can do it again you know and one thing about me I am not afraid of being alone and, and, and that's another thing as a woman I think women are so afraid to be alone. I think it's a situation to women. A lot of women are afraid to be alone um, and, and they're afraid to be by themselves. You cannot, as a woman, you cannot be afraid to be alone. Um, you cannot be afraid to be by yourself. You have to be comfortable as a woman. You have to be comfortable with being by yourself. You have to be okay with being by yourself. You have to enjoy being by yourself. I, one thing about me, and I think that's what, what that has gotten me through. I've been single for many, many, many years. I've been without a mate for many, many years. And you know, one of the things that gets me through, well, some things that gets me through, first of all, Jehovah God gets me through and he, he helps me to endure. And second of all, is that I'm, I'm, I'm okay with being alone. I enjoy my own company, believe it or not. Me and my oldest sister was talking about, she said she went to the movies by herself. And I said, you know, I told her, I said, I have yet to, that was, that was one of the things, I said, that's one of the things I'm going to do. I said I was going to do, that I was going to go to the movies by myself. And um, that's one thing that I'm going to do. I have never been to the movies by myself. I've always either went with my kids or whatever. I said, so that's one of the things I plan on doing. I'm planning on going to the movies by myself. And, um, and that's the thing, as a single woman, you got to be able to enjoy your own company. You have to be able to enjoy your own company and, 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 and you have to be okay with being alone. And it's perfectly fine to be alone. Um, it's, it's okay to be alone. You know, you don't have to be, I know we live in a, a, a world and we live in a society that, and we live in a couple's world where people, a lot of people are coupled up and you know, and all that. And being single is not glorified. Being in a relationship and being married and all that stuff is more glorified when you think about it. It's more glorified than being single. Being single is not, when you think about it, being single is not really glorified. They don't really glorify being single. So, and and, and so it's it's very, it's, and I, I'm not going to say it's easy. It's hard. Yes, it is hard as a woman. And it's hard being alone, you know. It's particularly when you wanted to get married. If you wanted to get married at a certain age, it was certain ways you wanted to get married and um, things that, you know, I wanted to get married at a particular age, and, and it didn't happen. As time went on, it didn't happen, and and I was very dis disappointed. You know, I was very disillusioned, and um, that can make you depressed. It can make you depressed, but the thing is, like I said, you gotta you gotta know your worth. First of all, you gotta know your worth as a woman. You have to be okay with being alone. You have to enjoy your own company. I enjoy my own company. Um, I, shoot, I could. <laughs> I probably spend a little bit too much time watching YouTube, but you know, not only that, you know, I go for walks. I go for my walks. You know, I, you know, I go to the gym. I enjoy going to the gym. 
you know, I I I enjoy my own company. Matter of fact, when you know my sons bring my, my um, you know my son brings my grandkid, when he brings my grandson over, want me to watch him. I'll be looking at him like, well, what about my me time? <laughs> I, I I don't like it when they when they interrupt my me time. And I and I, I got my little grandson's uh, uh, uh I got his little uh, playpen in the living room. His little playpen is there in the living room. And sometimes he be in the playpen and everything. I'll be sitting in my little my little table and chairs right beside it. <laughs> he be at the playpen and everything. I'll be looking and sometimes it'd be nighttime, it'd be my night off and everything. I hate it when they be doing that on my night off. I'm gonna be keeping one hundred. They be doing that on my night off. I'm like, wait a minute, this is my night off. This is my me time. You know? So needless to say, I'd be glad that he be fall I'd be glad when he finally falls asleep. When he finally falls asleep. Don't get me wrong, I love my grandbabies, but you know, I, I like to spend time with them, you know. You know, I do. I love spending time with them, but then at that at the end of the day, I like my me time. So I, I enjoy my own company, and that's the thing. You have to enjoy your own company. I know last year when I was doing home care, um, I had a client in the other city. Um, and um, over in the other city, it's a whole lot more. They got a whole lot more uh, sh uh, stores and malls and things like that, more than what they got here, what we, what we got going on here. And so I decided to make a little me day out of it. I said, I'm going to have a me a little me day. So I got that, got that with my client. Well, actually, my client was in a little bitty town next to that city. So after I got done with my client, I went over to there and I went to went and got me something to eat, a nice little salad. And I went and got me a little, you know, ice cream. And, you know, I went and did a little shopping. And, you know, we just didn't buy anything, just kind of looking. And, you know, I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. I had a blast. I enjoyed myself that day. Got a little bit lost coming coming back on the way home. Got a little lost, but <laughs> oh well, that's a little story. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my company. I think that was the day I went to the gym too. Yeah, I went to the gym over there too. I went to Planet Fitness over there too, and I worked out. So I did all that. I enjoyed myself. So that's the thing. As a single woman, you got to enjoy your own company. You have to enjoy your own company. You have to be okay with being alone. Don't be afraid to be alone because that's what that's what that's what puts women in the wrong situation. Women get involved with the wrong type of men. They stay in toxic relationships because they're so afraid of being alone. And I know it's rough being a single mother. It's a situation to where you're a single mother. I know it's rough. It was hard for me all those years. But that's why you gotta lean on Jehovah God. You lean on God, He will help you to endure. He wants us to cry out to him. He wants us to call out to him. And he will give you the strength to endure. Ask for, pray for his Holy Spirit. He will give you strength beyond what's normal. And, and, and that's what he did. He put me through all these years. And, 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 and he will help you get through it. He will help you be there for your kids. He will help you. He will help you. You know? And so that's what you have to do. But um, if a man want to walk out, let him go. Let him go. You know? Uh, don't don't beg no man to stay there if he don't want to be there, and especially particularly if he's if there's another woman involved, there's another woman involved, then you don't want him no way. If if he messing around with another woman, you don't want him no way because you don't want him to be bringing no diseases back to you, and there's other other issues involved with that. You don't want him bringing no diseases to you and nothing like that. So. If that man wants to go, let him go. If a situation to where you like some, I know there were situations to where I had feelings for somebody and I wanted to be with somebody. And I mean, I, back in the day, I did a little chasing, which, you know, I don't do that no more. Uh, don't, but don't do that, ladies. I mean, if they don't want to be bothered, like my mother say, I'm going to quote my mother's statement again. <laughs> I quoted it in another video, but I'm going to quote it again. They'll let you know when they want to be bothered, but if they don't want to be bothered, let them go. Don't chase them. That's the worst thing a woman can do is, 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 is chase her behind a man. I learned that the hard way. If they don't, they'll let you know if they want to be with you. You know, it's a situation to where you want to be with somebody. And um, if they'll let you know. One thing about a man, 
A man will let you know if he want to be with you. They will move heaven and earth to be with a woman. If they want to be with that woman bad enough, they will move heaven and earth to be with you. And if you don't see heaven and earth moving, keep it, you keep it moving. <laughs> so it's just not worth it. It all boils down to this. is knowing your worth as a woman. We have to know our worth as a woman. When I say you, I'm saying me too. We got to know as women, we have to know our worth. If we don't know our worth, we'll put up with all kind of uh, uh, mess a man has to uh, dish out. These men dishing out. We'll put up with all kind of stuff. So, um, if a man if a man want to walk away, let him go. And then that's when your healing process can begin. You can begin your healing process and, 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 and move on and everything emotionally and all that because our emotional health is important, especially when we're raising kids. When we're raising kids, um, in Strong Mommy Chrissy's situation, she got she's got she's gonna have nine babies. She's got eight and now she's got one on the way. So she's gonna have nine babies that she has to look after and everything. So she's gonna need to have it together emotionally. She's gonna need to have it together mentally and physically. I mean she's gonna have to and spiritually, she's gonna need to have it together on all levels. And so it's gonna be a def you know, I, I really keep my, my my prayers going up for her because She's going to have a difficult road ahead of her. It's, like I said, it's rough being a single mother. So it's like I said, it's hard on you emotionally, physically, uh, mentally, even spiritually. You know, it could be hard on you. But um, it could be spiritually challenging for you as well. So um, I definitely keep my prayers up for her. She's going to have some challenging days ahead. But I think, like, like, she she is strong as her name implies i think she she is a very strong young lady and i do believe that she will get through this you know and so um she's doing the right thing if, if that man don't want to be there she's letting him go that's best thing she can do and so that that goes for her and all the other ladies out there too that's going through the same thing if that man want to leave Let him go, honey. And he ain't worth it. There's no man worth it. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you if you're in, if you had a situation to where, you know, you there was a man, you know, you had to let him go and and let me know how much it impacted you and and um how did you get through the healing process? That's what I want to know. Well, you ladies in the comment section, let me know how you got through it. If you had a man that leave and you had to let him go, how did you get through the healing process and everything? And uh, just let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, if you looked at Strong, Strong Mommy Chrissy's video, uh, let me know what you think of that situation there. Um, okay, I got enough. I got some more interesting video topics coming up. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and and share, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so stay tuned. I got another interesting video coming up. So stay tuned. Peace and love. This is Sweet Jean.